I respect you as governor of this great club, so I'm gonna have to ask for your permission for me to take the floor right now. I swear if it's war, it's war. They know, they know, they know, they know I'll do anything. They know, they know, they know, they know I'll do anything. I swear if it's war. Uh, yo, months, what are you telling them? Big G, what's going on, brother? You're the man of all the knowledge. What the hell's Donny Jones? He's in Brazil, bro, handling business. And I'm not going to talk about that business because it's personal. I'm in Rio de Janeiro, I got my hair out. It's night time on the beach. They said it's dangerous out here, but I'm comfortable. I want to big up the Don family, we're global. I needed some help from the boys this week. Man's of the heart. Only Bond had to fly out and do some business. Big G stepped up, he's doing the commentary. Got Chris in the office 24 7. I love this club. Donny? 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 Yo! Hey! Hey Donny man! Um, apparently you're, you're going Cancun next week. I can't go Cancun but I'm in a relationship so that, that lifestyle is done. I can't enjoy the, the sand, sea and the... Gee, um, oh, he can Cancun, though, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, Speaking of Cancun, you going? <laughs> no one's going Cancun no more. Just a reminder, yeah, every match day there's going to be a pop-up shop. You're going to find yourself some exclusive bits that you can't find on the website. Make sure you come down on a match day ready with your money, man. Support the club. Welcome to Brixton Market. Bring that fives mentality to this cup, please, man. Yeah, what man, you boys are doing at the fives is outrageous, man. Almost at this moment in time, it's unbeaten, isn't it? Yeah, it's unbeaten. You so it is. When, when you're at the top, you have to stay hungry. And that's, that's, that's the battle. But yeah. it's all in your mind, isn't it? you got to be mentally ready to play. Mentally ready to battle for the, for the badge. Is this security? Huh? Security. Security for what? For the what? What, you, you own the barbers now? No, no why are you always be. coming in shop? No. <laughs> what barbers you go to? <laughs> Where's the change? Where'd you go? HD Cuts? You're on the barbers now. Where's your change? Support, 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 support the fucking club, man. Yeah? Support them, man. New, new, new fire stop out, new dumps. I ain't got no beats, bro. Support the club, bro. You don't see what I'm doing, man. Stop popping me, stop popping me. And I keep the dumping. You don't watch this, you guys. I took 10 minutes. Bro, I'm thinking you're spending it for like 4 hours. What's that you're doing? Team sheet, man. Yeah? Team sheet, man. We're looking at looking good today. Looking good. Strong team. What is this? The first round of the King Cup? First round. Yeah. Trophy that we need to get back. We need to get the trophy back. It's been too long. If we win this game today, this round, do you yeah. know we'll play next or we could play next? Bickley. You're not going to be so much. Just give it up. Hey, Mally, I heard your verse still, man. I respect it still. What are you talking about? I heard your verse, man. Wartime can rise up the army. If they cross the line, I'm RJ. We got German peak. Obviously, George is, is fighting in a couple of weeks. So we, we made the best decision for George. Um, so yeah, we're going to play the young boy today, a bit of cup competition. Give him his minutes, uh, see how he can get on, if he can handle the pressure. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can continue the momentum from last week, another clean sheet. And uh, yeah, we can rest a big man ready for, for DFC3. Uncle Raw, man, where's everyone at? I don't know. I really don't know. I did put in a group chat, if anyone needs a lift, yeah. no one replied. By the way, uh, that, that rebrand suits you, Uncle Raw. <laughs> Why did you do it, Nick? Man was just rolling late here, yeah, but he didn't even score a mad goal, so we can't even say nothing. Bro, I, won't I can't even involved. say nothing to him. I won't even involved. I can't even say nothing to him. I can't even say nothing to him. Accolades. Sorry, Diggs, man. It'll be, be all good once we're there. If I'm in a relationship here, yeah, how do I explain to my girl that I'm going to Colombia? And what am I going there for? <laughs> Play so. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. Play so. I'm seeing all the messages going into the chat from everybody. We understand what this competition means to the club. The last time he played in the Kent Cup final was a fucking massive day out. What a great day out. I mean, it had that in what, two, three years? Today it starts. We're playing against a team that we know are motivated when it comes to playing against FC Dogs. They're 100% committed to every draw that they're in. First ball, second ball. So we need to make sure that we're matching that. There's going to be times where you've got to go in and you've got to commit to it. And you have to trust that your teammates got your back. When I used to play, yeah, I never liked to hear shit from people who weren't playing on the pitch, yeah. But you lot know how much I love this club and what it means to all of us, yeah. So what I'm going to say is to the boys who are on the pitch, lead by example. I'm not on the pitch, I don't want to hear no excuses, oh the captain ain't here, all of that bullshit. Lead. That's all I want to say boys. Fucking lead by example, work together and enjoy today's game. Yeah? 3, 2, 1, done! Now before we get into today's lineup, a quick reminder. Today, at Maidstone, balling in, Big G the skipper is fighting for the badge. So if you haven't got your tickets and you want to head down, please come down and support. Anyway, the lineup looks as such. Because of Big G fighting a week later, 
We've got a young boy, Adam in the sticks. Six foot six, a Nigerian. Right back, we've got Sammy Dutch. Left back, we've got KG. Two centre backs, the return of MK47 alongside a Rhino. We've got a midfield three of lefty, Toby Coker and Oz Ten Hag. Front three, we've got Boogie in the nine, Kingy and Raw either side of him. Super subs. On the bench today, we've got Nathan Palmer, Diggers, Steph Bull Terrier and TC. So, this is today's lineup, and as you keep hearing Boogie say, Support the club! And you can do that by helping us get to 10,000 likes. We're not going to drop the standards, we haven't reached it yet. But we're going to keep asking for it. Get the Dons to 10k likes. Okay, what's happening people? Welcome back to another episode of SE Dons Sunday League Football. Where today we return to the prestigious Kent Cup. We lifted this trophy back in 2019. And it seems to have evaded us ever since. It's a cup that we want to win. We have a massive following in deep Kent. And we want to do it for you guys. I'm a man and men should be held accountable. So accept my apologies for not being there this week. I had business to take care of in a foreign land. I want to thank the skipper Big G for doing the commentary at the fives. Sounds like he done a good job. I say give it to him full time. So the duel commences. One minute, 16 seconds in. Rhino lifts one over the top. Jay Boogie pounces on a loose touch from the defender. Gets a bit physical, but he don't mind doing the dirty work. Managed to turn his mind, got it on the line. Sammy Dutch to his right. Looks like he runs into a little bit of trouble here, but he earns the free kick. Dutch doing what he always does, thinking quick. Plays lefty early doors. Switches play, excellent stuff. The sat nav picks out KG. Kingy! Go! Get on! Yo, DJ. Run that. Mate, what are you doing? What are you doing sitting there? Say no more. Rory! Rory! Dark Hearts is a part of the game that I personally appreciate and even though it's frustrating when it's done to us, I respect it. Number 6 loses the ball and tries to stop a breakaway so holds his face as if he's got a head injury. You've been a gaffer before, is that a conflict of interest? Yeah. If you're the gaffer but you choose yourself to be the captain, it is isn't it? Of course it is! <laughs> so Punter's on the sideline questioning why king has got the band if he's the gaffer. He ain't letting it bother him as he plays a nice touch into Toby Coke. A lovely one, two, three, four, whatever you want to call it. It's good football, but it's cleared away. Five minutes, three seconds on a duck on Waffle. Lefty picks out Toby Coke, taking a central position. Kingy floats off, finds Lefty. He picks out Kingy. It's a questionable offside. I think it's saved Boogie's bacon. So six minutes in, it's been a decent start from the Dons. Uh, we've been pretty comfortable in possession, uh, but SJ gets caught out there. Family club, we're seeing the number three there just walk by. Meanwhile, Rhino's running into a little bit of trouble. It's a let off. Leon! Leon, give it on! 707 on a Michael Buble. MK pumps one in behind. Why not? Uh, Kingy does well to get there. He does the work. Collects it from the number two, then ball rolls it away. It's good stuff, especially on this bobbly surface. He's comfortable with it. Cuts it back for Toby Coker. He doesn't quite connect properly. It's cleared away. So it's been a decent first 10 for the Dons. We've kind of dominated possession, but we expect this against a team like Farnborough. But they're a tough, tough side. This is what they kind of do. They kind of invite you on and look to break on the counter or pounce on mistakes. And this guy's a good striker, a big lad. He lets one go. Well, it's a good save from Adam. 11-13, MK fans lefty, Don's just staying patient with it, Toby takes it on the spin, lovely running behind from Rory, he's dangerous at those and that's a definite foul, question is, is, is it in the box? So, free kick for the Don's in a dangerous area, but dare I say it, it's been wasted, cleared out only as far as Rhino Oz telling him to take his time, it's a loose touch though, number 10 pounces on it, now he's found himself in a foot race with a Scottish Rhino, but lucky for him, MK47 is there to clean up. I won't lie, it's a crazy few minutes for the boy Rhino, but he loves the badge, so I won't have anyone talk bad on him. Bad touch, runs into trouble again. It's a let off. Let me show you how it's done, bro. Now, don't let the guy in the salmon shorts distract you from the fact KG is just plowing through their defensive line. The strength makes that guy hit the deck and he stands up. Fans raw, picks out Toby, back to Oz, back to Toby. Boogie, forgive me, but that's the closest we've come yet. What more can you respect than a gaffer who puts himself on the pitch as well to go to war with his men? Kenny? Yo, DJ. Hello, darkness, my old friend.
approaching the 25th lefty rises so does KG both men winning their battles it comes to Boogie a real physical presence up top a defender's nightmare I remember when I was at Barnet and I was playing centre back out to defend against Traore long day in the office but we move on from that it's Boogie he picks out Toby Coca back to Boogie how about this for some footwork from the Boog monster I've seen Dolby do it the old dog needs a booking! So roll on, roll off, that's something that Kingy wants to use this year. It's something new, we've never really used it. So don't be surprised when you see subs being made in the first half. Rhino's come off for Mali and Toby Coco's come off for Nathan Palmer, but they'll come back on. So while the Seco's holding his balls in the bush, it's a free kick for the Dons, Ten Hag over it. Some women came out to see him as well. And this guy takes one in the crown jewels. You might never see offspring again. 28.50, lefty collects it on the spin, finds Oz Ten Hag. I think Nathan Palmer was telling him to jack it, which he didn't. Nathan Palmer proceeds to scream at him. Uh, Oz is obviously telling him, calm down, man. It comes to Raw. Raw then sees the run of Oz and he almost shuts Nathan Palmer up. Unlucky Oz! 33-10, like I said, it's been all the dons, but it's his typical farm, bro. They're just sitting back. That's a light foul given away there, and it's going to be a set piece. They're dangerous from these, and that's why Big G's telling Boogie, make sure you get back in the box. Can you do it quicker? So, free kick for farm, but they got a lot of big fellas in their team. He whips it in near post. So as you can see, a great delivery, and Henningberg rises. So there you have it. Farnborough take the lead, 1-0 in the 35th, 10 to go in the first half. But we've got to stay patient, we've been good, so we can't let it make us feel like we've been awful, we've just not been taking our chances. KG fans raw, it's excellent bit of football, that is a definite penalty, I don't know why they're even appealing it. Spot kick, uh, Jay Boogie grabs the ball. Bad moments for farm, but number two gets simbined. The other player says something that the ref don't like, he finds himself two men off the pitch. So, spot kick for the Dons, a chance to break even. Bugzilla steps up, the Prince of Peckham. They know his name in Portugal. We won't talk about that. Good boy, he lad. Where's his boots? Hey Boogers, where's your pumas at? So 39-20, lefty collects it, uh, fires it through to Jay Boogie, causing an absolute nuisance up top, does well to hold it, cuts it back for lefty, uses his right foot. Hey, how about this from Nathan Palmer? That is quality from you fella. I'm not gonna lie, I did not even see that coming, he's reversed it, it's kingy. I just feel like the DJ's gonna have to get his decks out again. Hello, darkness, my old friend. So 40 on the clock, might have been a half to forget for the gaffer, but he's been getting himself in dangerous positions, he just hasn't converted. Um, anyway, Raw switches it over to Sammy Dutch. Kingy! Oh, So 42 minutes in, not long left in a half now. A keeper fires it long. Dutch rises. Another free kick for Farnborough. Referee! Chris, where's Geek? Is he here? France. Where did he miss it? Some, nah, I think at our friend's wedding. Okay. So, free kick for Farnborough. Dangerous position as well. Like I said, this is where they're most effective at. Big man tries to strike, though it comes off the wall. They've stood strong. Raw comes over to help. And he fires it off. Easy for Adam. So it's one apiece in the Kent Cup. Some of you are just here for the tackles. Ah! Oh! Yes! So 1-1, one, one, half time whistle about to go. It's a questionable offside there, but it's not gonna matter because the referee blows his whistle and we have to regroup. 
against the old school? What's your thoughts on the game so far? Well, I think uh, we're doing very well, actually. Um, if we were finishing a bit better, I think we'd be up, we'd be winning the game. It's it's a new team; they're just getting used to each other, and uh, you know, I think they're doing very well. God bless you all, and enjoy the second half. So don't speak to the referee; it's not worth it. We've seen he simbin two of their players, and all they said was, "That's wrong." That was it. And they both got Simbin, so just don't say nothing to the referee, he's not in the mood for it. Trust each other, yes the pitch is bobbing you, but we all have the quality to be able to play. So trust each other and keep that ball moving. Make sure that we're, we're not turning down uh, great passes for great opportunities, but just good, decent opportunities. If there's an extra pass on, make the extra pass, because I trust everyone's ability in here to be able to make that and see that on the pitch. The one thing we can actually control and manage is all the fouls in our own half, because that's the only way they're going to score. So the only way they look like scoring is from that set piece. So make sure we're not giving away cheap free kicks in and around our own area because all they're going to do is try and deliver it and that's the only way we're going to let them back into the game. We have to make sure we're playing with discipline and we're playing with our heads. Increase our intensity in the game. And what I mean by that is when we have the ball, because we're playing against a team that's sitting off, we have to move them. Because they're sitting off, we take longer on the ball. Does that make sense? But we have to keep the intensity of the ball moving. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So then that moves them. To, Good. to start the half, um, me and Ozzy are going to come off. Toby and Stefan on, so Stefan you're going to go up, Steph, you're going to go up top um, next to Boogie. Hey, hey, knock out football as well, oh, remember that, put the ball in the net. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one! Dance. Dance. Support the club! Today isn't about merchandise or anything else, it's about supporting the skipper. He is fighting today at a balling in in Maidstone. The link to tickets is in our description or you can get them on the door. Please come out and support. Get there for about 6pm onwards, I think he's fighting around 9, 8 or 9. But please come down and support and thank you everyone who has. Support the club! So, second half begins another 45 minutes here at the jungle to try and secure ourselves a spot in the second round of this fantastic cup. Boogie holds it out wide and he picks out Nathan Palmer. I saw Ronaldinho do it against England. So a good start from the Dons there, we're already knocking on the door. Nathan Palmer knocks it forward to KG, who's had a great game as well, getting up and down the left hand side, shouts for a penalty, not given, so it's a corner. So a corner for the Dons, whipped in, raw goals for the pool skulls, but he's a mill wall lad, didn't quite have that one in the locker. It's cleared out only as far as Mali, it's now a one on one with MK and the defender, but MK had Jolla for breakfast this morning. Oh, excellent. Can you run up, up to 11 now? So 49 minutes in, Adam plays it short to lefty, first time into Mo, how about this for a pass, outside of the boot, excellent pass into Nathan Palmer, and Nathan Palmer didn't start today because he came late, so if you're late this season you're not starting, but this is Nathan Palmer. <laughs> Why did you do it, Nick? Man was just rolling late, yeah, but he didn't score a mad goal, so we can't even say nothing. Why are you like this? Get off the pitch. Hey, George, get off the pitch. Hey, George, get off the pitch, man. Get off the pitch, fuck. Why did you say that, Nathan? So, 2-1 to the Dons in emphatic fashion. The boy Nathan Palmer, there is no other. Build him a statue, club legend. But now we're talking about the future. And that's KG, as he takes on two defenders. He's through on goal. It's getting cracking, bro. It is not a goal. It's not. It's not. Comment below guys, was this a goal? Did it cross the line? So a busy first five for the Dons, but that's similar to the first half. We have to make sure we convert some of these opportunities. Farnborough will come back against us, they will get an opportunity. Anyway, it comes to Jay Boogie, takes it on a spin. That's not so bad. Now I hate to embarrass the skipper, but he was watching something next raid on the laptop and the speakers was playing out loud and the ref heard. So he had a word of him. Stay away from that. Alright, cool, I couldn't help it. I'm like, yeah, it's alright, no worries, I'm editing. Yeah, this guy using a laptop as a DK, bro. <laughs> this guy. So 53 in, 2 1 to the Dons, heavily in control with this game, a third one on the way. But something weird happens here, I'm not sure what's going on. Must be some kind of dodgy communication. Adam lets the ball go off the pitch. Uh, so it's a corner to Farnborough. 
Now I told you about farm, bro. They're dangerous from set pieces. Football's simple, bro. Why are you man complicating it, bro? So 2-2 two, two here in the Kent Cup. Farnborough like fleas that you just can't shake off. Some of you just here for the tackles. More use of the roll on, roll off. On comes Diggers, off comes Raw. So 63 minutes in, two apiece, and Farnborough enjoying a bit of momentum to be honest at the moment. Uh, he's done well to drive forward here. Mali comes over to jockey him, but this guy gets round him on the overlap, looks to cut it back. <laughs> So just like that, it's cup football. This is what happens. You close your eyes for one second and you get punished. It's free two now to farm, bro. But again, like I said before, we have to stay composed. We can't start getting panicky. It's boogie. He picks out Steph who cuts inside. That is a definite penalty. And has another chance for the Dons to get back in this one. So a spot kick at the Mr. Old School end. Steph Bulteria steps up. So 67th minute, free free, what a tie this is. And dare I say it, Mali gets welcome to England. By Boogie, what the? How much times can I keep saying it? They're dangerous from free kicks. Farnborough pump it long. Adam comes out to collect. It's gone over him. We managed to scurry it away. 71 45, free apiece. Just under 20 minutes left to go. Lefty collects it. A sat nav on him, sprays it out wide. Sammy Dutch, I trust him with it. That's why he takes it down in his first attempt. Toby Coker dragging the man out wide to create space for Jay Boogie. He finds Lefty. And it's the guy I've been telling you about. KG causing problems all game. Down the left hand side, he manages to beat his man. And Steph Bull Terrier gets welcome to England. Free kick again to farm, bro. We can't keep giving him opportunities. It's whipped in. And he could have done better there. More changes. Ten Hag on, Dutch off. So just so you know, if we do draw, it goes to extra time and then obviously penalties. But as you can see here, Farnborough pressing for the front. Credit to them. They don't even want extra time. They're going for the win. With 10 minutes to go, they know one goal here, they could really hang on to that. And it's lackadaisical at the back from the Dons. Uh, this big man collects it, and this here is close. So as you can see, punters on the sideline, beers in hand, unhappy with the defensive stuff. Messing around at the back there, we can't be entertaining a loss. Anyway, it comes to Nathan Palmer, back to lefty, Don staying patient. Looks it forward to Toby Coker, lovely, lovely one round the back for Nathan Palmer. What a save from the keeper. I can't lie, we look back at this one, look at that from Toby. Helped it round the corner, good strike and it's a strong wrist from that keeper. Anyway, we still got it. Mali collects it and fires it in a box, pushing on the door. So about three minutes left to go now. Uh, ball coming forward for Farnborough. Oz hangs a leg out there, gives away a free kick. So 89th minute, heart in mouth moment at the moment as the number six steps up for Farm Bryce. A great delivery to be fair to him. Back post whips it across. Luckily for us, Ten Hag's there and does enough to clear it away. So 95th minute now, this has to be the last attack of the half. Steph Bulteria looks forward and finds Jay Boogie, skips round his man, he's honest, stays up, is cleared away. And that gentleman and ladies is going to be the end of the, the game and we're going to go into extra time. So extra time, 15 minutes each way. And if it's still a draw after extra time, it will be penalties. Let's get into it. We're going straight to extra time. So we need to make sure, especially from set pieces, that we're organized really early. Really, really early. We've conceded from two set pieces today. It's not good enough. But forget that. We're going into extra time. We know that the chances are going to come, but it's just about being disciplined. So when we lose the ball, we can't fucking work back. We have to work. Otherwise, we're just watching the back line defend them. We're watching them alone. And we need to be more of a unit. Right? Boys, stay so positive. Stay Listen, guys, remember what happened last year when we came out of these tournaments? Remember that feeling. Just stay positive. <laughs> We've got this. Just stay positive. All round. That's the whole pitch. 
Utilise Steph, you know his pace. Utilise him. Come on in guys, let's do it. Man, come, on. come on, we're not come fucking on. losing. Come on. We're not fucking losing if today. Give we're not fucking man. losing today. Three, two, one, go! Go! So here we are, extra time, Kent Cup round one. We've got half an hour to get something out of this game. How about that vision from lefty? Excellent ball through the top to Steph Ball Terrier, through on goal. Keeper holds. Now we already know it's a long episode, so we're going to try and run through this extra time and just kind of leave any important moments. He's scrappy in the middle at the moment. I was running into some trouble. Mo coming out, Victor driving forward as well. He's got Nathan Palmer to his left. He picks him out. You know, he's got these one in his locker. Cuts into his right foot, lets it off. Keeper holds. 98th minute now. Farmer goalkeeper pumps one long over the top. Beats Mr. Robinson, the number six, I think that was. I can't really see. Keeps it in play though, comes to the number 10. He fires one over across to the big man in the middle. He manages to take it down, cuts inside, it comes to Oz Ten Hag. He messes about with it on the edge of the box. They're through on goal. So a massive moment there, a huge block from Mr. Robinson that was vital. And then a massive save from Adam as well. But meanwhile, it's more momentum from Farmer as the big man latches on it. But Adam comes out, holds it strong. It's a Don's ball. They ruin him after going goal, you know? Yeah. It's alright. So it's the 102nd minute now. We're deep into extra time, approaching the end of the first half. It comes to Nathan Palmer. He sees Kingy in the box. Oh. Over there. Yo, DJ, it ain't home time yet. Hello, darkness, my old friend. So with the half-time whistle about to go for the first half of extra time, we're going to just roll it over. We're not going to go into the half-time team talk. As I said, it's a long enough episode as it is. Anyway, the second half starts and it's a corner for Farnborough. Fired away there from Adam. Nathan Palmer doing the dirty work up top, chasing everything. And it's cleared away only as far as Toby. First time pass into uh, Nathan Palmer. He's got stiff to his left, cuts inside. That's easy for the keeper. So 108th. Adam fires it long, lefty, he's always going to stop it dead, he's got Toby in the middle but he picks out Nathan Palmer, he's got Steph as well just cutting into the box now, Nathan looks to take on his defender, cuts in, whips it back post, Jay Boogie, goes out for, a, should be a corner, I think he's given a goal kick. More Don's pressure now, we want to avoid the penalty shootout, that's 50-50, it's Robinson back post for Steph Bulteria. Oh, what a save! So fast! Nice. So the 116th of Venus, is about five minutes left to go. The heavens have opened. I remember my dad had the phone open. I was watching this from Brazil, sweating. But not from the hot sun, from the nerves. It's Steph, he's kept it alive. He's knocked it into lefty. Fires one in first time. Trickles across the box. So corner taken short. Oz Ten Hag collects it. Looks to take on his man. He fires one in the box. Cleared out onto the edge of the area. Only as far as Nathan Palmer. 117. Something has to give. Don's knocking on the door. Nathan Palmer knocks it out wide to Steph. He picks out lefty. Steph is going to get round him and offer him the option. But he looks to play it inside. Finds Oz back into Toby, fires it, almost deflects in. I mean, a full time whistle about to go. It is going to end. Farnborough free, Essie Don's free, and we go into the penalty shootout. Now, as always with penalties, I do my best to try and allow you to live it in a real scenario. Therefore, I'm going to sign out now and leave it all raw. But what I do want to say is thank you to everyone that came out to support. Remember the like count is 10,000 likes. If you want to support the club, like the video, subscribe to the channel, head over to scdons.com, grab your merchandise, and don't forget Big G the Skipper is fighting tonight at the Balling in Maidstone. Let's get into the penalty shootout.
Go, ball, ball! Hey, lefty scores, I get paid. You shouldn't even be on the pitch. You know you should have been sent off. Oh. Shouldn't even be on the pitch. Oh. <laughs> shouldn't even be on the pitch. Oh. <laughs> Go the right way and save it. Go the I had a fake slam. Good luck. George! George! No! No! Go the right way, you save me! Oh, no. oh, no. Now I told you I'd signed out, but sometimes you gotta break the rules. Oz Ten Hag steps up, fresh haircut, pressure on him. No scratches, Oz. No scratches. Big save. And there you have it. Essie Don's progress to the second round of the Kent Cup. Deserved. Come on. Perhaps. Come on, man. Perhaps. Take him to Cancun. They know, they know, they know, they know I'll do anything. They know